Hi guys! So it's Golden Stepmom here. Okay, so I thought that I'll come on today and dun, 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 we have some exciting stepmumming blah blahs. Yes, I know, I know, goodness, mother mother's talk about it. But this is very interesting. There's five things a stepmom should stop feeling guilty about. Okay. The internet is crowded with mimmies and quotes and inspirational posts about combating mum guilt in addition to all of the daily insecurities and self-doubt that go hand in hand with. Raising kiddos, stepmoms have a, an added layer of guilt to battle. Shed some of the stepmom shame and stop feeling guilty about these five things. Number one, ooh, this is exciting, here we go. Number one, being relieved when your stepkids leave. As a stepmom and second wife, your only point of reference is not seeing your stepkids every day. You don't know what it's like to have them all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> so you're not missing the way anything. Missing the way anything was before. We all had different lives before we became stepmoms, and lots of us became insta parents. Going from no kid to step kids and an extra co parent. It's okay to enjoy that quiet, kid free time, and there's no shame of feeling relieved to have your partner or to yourself every few days. You can support and encourage your partner in missing their child without feeling guilty because you don't have the exact same emotions all the time. Number two, take a vacation without your stepkids. Your stepkids are still enjoying their lives when they are not at your house. So why shouldn't you do the same? The world doesn't and shouldn't stop either of you when you're not on active parent duty. Take advantage of that time to nourish your relationship with yourself, part, your partner, or your own kids if you have them. Your stepkids do fun things and go on trips. Go on trips with the other side of your family. And you can do the same. Make it a special time of sharing when either of you do something fun when you're apart by sharing photos and stories. And don't forget the souvenir. Number three, up to number three. Feeling jealous of your stepkids? I debate whether to even admit this, but I have a feeling I'm not the only one. When my wife, oh, this is from another person's point of view right here. When my wife and I first started dating, I'd feel this total sense of elation when she would change her profile picture or the lock screen on her phone to a picture of me or the two of us. But then when she would change it to a picture of just her daughter or of the two of them, I'd feel this stab of inexplicable jealousy. It was even worse when the photo was from a time or place when I wasn't with them. I felt afraid and jealous that they were enjoying their lives with, more without me. 
When I look back on that time, I realize those feelings are completely valid because as stepmoms, especially in the beginning stages, we are constantly looking for ways looking for ways to fit. Forgive yourself of those jealous moments, breathe them in and egg and then exhale them out guilt free. Number four not loving your stepkids as your own. I don't have children of my own yet, but I would imagine that once I do, I will love them in an equal but different way than I love my stepdaughter. Just as I expect my stepdaughter loves her parents differently than she loves me. Our bond is different. I'm honored to help her with her homework, but I'm not sitting behind that desk at a parent-teacher conference. I tell her how beautiful she is in her new glasses, but I wasn't at the eye doctor with her. I'm there for so many mementos, occasions, but there are some parts of her world I leave up to her parents. And that's perfectly okay. As a stepmom, you have to put up and leave up certain boundaries that differentiate your relationship with from the one you have with your own kids in order to make it all work. And remember, a different kind of love doesn't mean lesser kind of love. Number five, 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 woo. Going good here, stepmamas. Setting boundaries. You and your partner might not always have the expect ex, the exact same ideas for parenting or style of discipline. But that doesn't mean your voice doesn't matter. Being the stepmom doesn't mean you're what your wants and needs or even your rules should ever take a back seat. Pick your battles but don't be afraid to step up to the plate for the, for the ones that matter. Whether it's shared spaces with your stepchild, self-care or simple desire on, of, of not wanting your stepkids to play in your makeup. Without your permission, you matter. Don't feel badly about making yourself heard and establishing the boundaries. You need to be happy and healthy in your home. And voila, we're done. Woohoo! So, yes, yeah, so hopefully that helps. And to all the stepmoms, enjoy your stepchildren. Be happy, play with them, and make them laugh. To one stepmom to another, bye for now, golden stepmom.